Herpes virus 6A and herpes virus 7 are viral causes of brain infection called encephalitis. Uh, most typically, they cause acute encephalitis, but they can cause slow forms of brain degeneration, which is the sort of thing that we're seeing now. We were taking advantage of this uh, new genomic data that was part of this, uh, being generated by this AMP-AD partnership. It's an NIH, new NIH um, uh, program to generate lots of genomic data for Alzheimer's disease. And what this study found was that viruses appear to be playing a role in the pathology uh, of Alzheimer's disease. And viruses had been implicated in, in Alzheimer's disease in the past. Uh, but more through sort of population studies, through just sort of correlations, so no one really took it seriously. And I think this was the first study where we used advanced, uh, you know, genomic sequencing technologies directly from the affected brains of Alzheimer's patients and were able to, you know, measure, uh, not only measure virus in these brains, but actually using computational techniques sort of build out the network in which these viruses are operating and influencing, you know, known Alzheimer's genes. When Alzheimer's clusters in families, uh, that tends to point to genes. Um, and we often can find uh, some of the genes that are, are, are playing a role in any particular family. Um, what this shows that's different is that those genes might be turned on or turned off by viruses. It might be a combination of having both the gene and the exposure to the virus that makes someone have the disease. We've found that these uh, HHV6 and HHV7 viral DNAs, these genomes, seem to regulate the expression of genes that we know are at uh, cause risk for Alzheimer's disease. What this does is really further strengthen this emerging theme that the innate immune system plays a role on Alzheimer's. And why that gives us hope is that there's a, it's going to reveal a whole set of, of uh, new potential drug targets for Alzheimer's and perhaps be able to borrow um, a lot of the tools and even drugs from immunology for, uh, for Alzheimer's disease.